Greetings, Diablo 2 fans. In this video, I will show you how you can farm Chaos Sanctuary fast. This method is based around opening Diablo's seals in a special way. While we are avoiding start of Sanctuary with monsters, we still can get drops from them. How? That is what I'm going to show you. To execute this method, you need a fast teleporting character. It would be also great if this character can survive in Chaos Sanctuary. And of course, if you can clear monsters packs fast. I'm using a hammer dean in this video, but you can also be good with lightning sorceress, or even with a fist of heaven paladin in patch 2.4. So let's begin. First, I'm teleporting myself to the center, where the pentagram placed. You can choose any wing to clear first, but I prefer to clear wing with the grand vizier of chaos. After you have opened first two seals, you are moving to the next in the top. The Chaos Sanctuary itself is a great place to farm for items, runes. Diablo can drop a high level Grand Charm, so you can roll a high life skiller. Also you can level really fast, since it is a 85 level area. deal with that pesky Lord DeSays. And now is the tricky part, you open only one seal of two last seals, you need to open a seal, that will summon last super unique pack, the Balrog boss, after you kill him, you don't open last seal, I repeat, don't open it, yet, move yourself back, to the start of the Chaos Sanctuary, as you can see, all monsters are still here, waiting to shred me and my mercenary apart. After I got myself to the start, I'm rushing back to the last seal and open it. Boom. Diablo is going to show up soon, but if we will teleport a little back, we can see that there are some loot lying on the floor. While I was recording this run, I even got myself a skiller with this method, a cold skiller for sorceress. If you execute this method fast, you can skip half of the battles here, and go straight to the seal bosses and Diablo himself, remember. You have a brief period of time to make this, so you need a fast character with fast casting rate. If you will be too slow, there will be no drops from these monsters you've skipped. Well, I hope this guide was enough informative for you. Using this method will save you a lot of time, so you can farm efficiently and faster than others. I hope this video helped you. I would make more videos soon so please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned.